On the table are three cameras. One is the Pentax 6x7. This is a 16mm Keystone camera. And this is the H8 reflex camera with the Switar lenses. This is an 8mm movie camera. It doesn't take still pictures, it takes motion pictures. This is uh, three rolls of fresh film, Thomopan R100, double eight millimeter, 25 feet. Unlike the 16 millimeter camera that takes 100 foot spools of 16 millimeter film, the H8 Rex takes 25 foot spools but you can get 100 foot spools for it which would be equal to four rolls of film at one time. Now that would equal a 400 foot magazine on a 16 millimeter camera. I have an electric motor for this and if it's on the side on some screw holes there's one here there's another one someplace right there and it has a battery pack but the camera needs to be cleaned and lubricated so it didn't run at you know perfect 24 frames per second crystal sink but it could so I'm looking forward to using it and the whole idea of shooting a roll of fresh film in it is so that I could process it in a spiral processing reel in the darkroom. Now I'm not going to load this camera in the light so I could see it. I'm going to go in the darkroom and put on the red safe light and wait about 20 minutes so my eyes are accustomed to the darkness and I'll load it under subdued light. But isn't that something that uh, a camera like this you could still buy fresh film for and get it developed. This is reversal film. So it's black and white reversal film and that's what I'm going to try. I bought a kit of chemicals from Freestyle to develop the film and reverse it myself in the darkroom. Interestingly enough I also bought a spiral processing reel that holds 100 feet of film. So I could shoot 100 feet of regular 8 film process it, reverse it, and uh, then slit it. So here we are in the dark room and I'm going to use some compressed air to clean out the gate. I will be turning out the incandescent light and relying upon the safe light. Since this is the reflex camera it has a prism that deflects part of the light into the reflex system and you open that little door and then you could clean it off and the light goes up and through your eye in there That's the pressure pad. There's the gate. You ever see old movies that have these annoying big hairs along the edges? Well, I hope to avoid that. Unfortunately, that spray thing sprayed some liquid, and I don't know what that'll do, but. Uh, I can't even see the gate. It is so tiny. You know, I guess you could get a toothpick and uh, go around the edges of it, but I'm not going to do that. So I'll just put it back together and I'll let it dry and put it back together. And as dark as it is with the safe light, I can still see the shiny chrome parts under the red light. That makes it easy to load the film.